A2X has a month-end inventory valuation feature. We automatically fetch the month-end stock take data from Amazon for FBA inventory and we use uploaded cost data from your cost of goods sold file to calculate an inventory valuation for the stock held by Amazon in FBA warehouses. Amazon usually issues the month-end inventory report at the latest by the 10th of the following month and A2X will fetch it in as soon as it is available in your Amazon Seller Central account. In addition to the monthly inventory summary we provide, A2X also provides you with a locations report which lets you see where all of your FBA stock is being held. You can review the valuation report we generate by clicking inventory at the top of the page here and then selecting the monthly summary option. Likewise, you can review the locations info by clicking inventory and then locations as shown. To enable the inventory features in A2X, we need to click settings and go to the inventory settings page. In a trial version of A2X, you are able to preview one of the inventory reports so that you can see how the feature works. In a subscribed account, you will see on the settings page where you can enable the feature. You also have the option for A2X to show the unsellable items held at Amazon. This is great for inventory management. If you have stock sitting at Amazon that could be removed, it will be easy for you to see this on a monthly basis with A2X. This can save you from paying storage fees on unsellable stock for longer than you need to. Once enabled, click Save Settings here. Let's head over to the monthly summary page now by clicking Inventory at the top of the page and then Monthly Summary. This page lists the month end inventory valuation reports. A2X will fetch one for each month you had closing FBA stock data available. The table lists the month the report relates to, the month end in overall inventory value held at Amazon. This number is calculated using the unit prices A2X uses for your cost of goods sold entries. The total units here come from the Amazon monthly inventory data that we fetch into your account. These are the total units held at Amazon FBA warehouses. The total SKUs here also comes from the Amazon monthly inventory data we fetch into your account. This is the total number of different SKUs held in Amazon FBA warehouses. The total countries as well comes from the Amazon monthly inventory data we fetch into your account. This is the total number of different countries your stock is being held in at Amazon FBA warehouses. This number can often show two, even though you know your stock is in a single country. Often this is purely due to Amazon moving stock between warehouses within the country. The blue cost status indicator here means that A2X can see a unit price for every SKU in the monthly report. And lastly, with the actions, you can either review export or refresh the report. Let's review one of the reports to see the itemised detail. You'll see at the top here a message advising the user and the date of upload of the cost prices we are using for the month end valuations. Down from there we have a full month summary which is pretty much the same as the one we saw on the previous page listing all monthly reports in the account. Down from the overall summary there is an itemised summary. This lists all SKUs individually. You'll see the sellable quantity listed in the sellable column here. This is the number of this particular product that Amazon had on hand in their warehouses as at the 30th of June. You'll see the unsellable quantity listed in the unsellable column. This is great to keep an eye on just in case you need to do any corrections or removal orders in Seller Central. The value here is based on the quantity remaining as at the end of the month multiplied by the unit price you upload or input into A2X. Let's head on over to the locations page now by clicking inventory at the top of the page and then clicking locations. The locations page provides you with a visual summary of where your stock is located in Amazon warehouses as well as your warehouse first use dates. You'll see for this account the stock is located in nine Amazon warehouses across four different states or provinces. This is often surprising to some sellers, as often you're only sending your stock to one Amazon location. Once it gets there though, Amazon will shift it around the country to their different warehouses based on demand. The graph on the left here provides you with a summary of the number of warehouses used over the last 12 months. 
If I quickly flick over to an A2X account connected to Amazon.com for instance and review the locations page, you'll see here that the stock in this account is sitting in 120 warehouses across 36 states of the US. That is around 70% of the US states covered. Okay, back to our smaller account here and further down the locations page, you'll see there's an Amazon FBA warehouse loc location summary. This table shows the states, first use dates, and Amazon warehouse codes that are currently holding your stock. You can view a detailed version of this by clicking here. On the detailed report page, you can see what warehouses were in use for each month that we have the data for, along with the first used warehouses and first used states. From the actions menu here in the top right corner, you have the option to export the summary info or the detailed report info. Lastly, A2X can fetch in FBA inventory data from as far back as you need to go. Contact our friendly support team today to learn how.